Yeah, I just want to show that I'm outside. This is a uh, bush in front of the house. Okay, um, that's my parts per million meter showing zero. And actually, I show one inside the house without any diesel fuel running or anything. So that's how it is. I don't know what the hell that means, but it could be from stuff I've been working on <laughs> with the car or whatever but um, so let me show it inside the house anyway I just want to show you that inside the house it's got either a one or a zero usually it's a one maybe it's a cat you're putting out CO <laughs> that's a zero but the low alarm is 35 that's for the low alarm I don't know what the hell the high alarm is but the low alarm is 35, so it's at 1. It's probably because I wash car parts in here, because I haven't used the heater in here for about a week. But I've used it about 15 times so far, and I haven't clogged up nothing on my wick. It's diesel fuel and a kerosene heater. So we're going to stoke it up. And I showed you outside it says 0. So I was just making sure the freaking meter works right. It says 0. Inside it says 1. That's not dangerous. I mean, the low alarm is 35. But, you know, it might be because of stuff I'm doing in here. I don't know. It can't be from the heater because the heater, like I said, I didn't use it in a week. I'm in Florida. But I have used it about 15 times. And it's got the same wick from 1987 when I bought it back in Korea. Right? Maybe you're sticking your nose on this thing. Maybe that's what was doing it. So, right? What are you doing? You hungry? Hey, yum yum. So anyway, just to give you the reference point, it's one in here anyway. I don't know, maybe the car parts have been cleaning. <laughs> Find out. Okay, so here's the heater. I don't know, but it's probably running about the 15th time. Um, diesel fuel again. Beep. You know, I don't know what the hell, why some people are getting different results. Some people are getting good results. Some people are getting poor results. I got BP diesel fuel with 90% um, uh, pro propyl al isopropyl alcohol, 3 ounces per gallon, and there's some of that um, injector cleaner in there also, which are supposedly, those are the tricks to keep the wick from clogging. The wick in this heater has been in here since 1987. I got this on Team Spirit when I was in Team Spirit in Korea in 1987, and I used the hell out of it since then. The wick has never been changed, ever. So take a look. Does it look like the wick is clogged up? It's sputtering or what? You see it's working pretty good, right? <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't know. A BP is supposed to have um, freaking, what the hell is it called? Um, over, let me turn this thing on. I'm turning on a CO meter and get a quick reading here. BP is supposed to have um, over double the biodiesel in it. Okay, so here's the meter. It still says zero. It should say one because it already says one in here without the thing on. Sometimes it says zero and one. It's probably running like a half or just over a half. And the low range warning sign is 35. So I'm trying to get a reading on here. Still says 1. I mean 0. I don't know. Well, I mean, that's the one thing you really got to watch out for because everything else you could smell, right? I mean,. I mean, if it's putting, if it's taking oxygen out of the air and putting carbon dioxide in the air, that's that's one thing. You know, it's doing that because it's not, it's there's no fresh air draft for it. So you got to crack a window open, right? I mean, that's common. That's known by everybody. I mean, it's not one of these things where it's drawing in fresh air from a flu or something from the outside. It's using the ambient air that's in the house. No, I just showed you the meter said one or zero before. Not saying zero, so that's the one thing you would you know, I don't have to smell anything. There's nothing 
There's no smell going on here at all. It burn. It seems to burn a lot cleaner than kerosene. This is a, this is my experience. But again, I got to say, you know, maybe it is the BP diesel because the ones that told me about this were the ones down here in Central Florida. It's like by a farmer place, and I looked around. Pretty much every place that sells diesel is BP around here. I mean, sure, there's other ones at the truck stops, but. Then again, then again, a lot of diesel around here is biodiesel too, because they got died by biodiesel in Central Florida. But BP has double the biodiesel as nor at BP and Shell. So it's got. The, I'm using BP diesel. I'm using three ounces of ninety percent isopropyl alcohol per gallon, and I used um, that injector uh, cleaner from. Uh, what the hell is that stuff again called uh, you know that god I forgot what it was it's like one quart per 250 gallons um, I got it on the other video I'll just put it I'll put it up on this video since I remember it you'll see it up there on the text but I think the alcohol I, I did the injector cleaner because that was something else I heard from somebody else but I heard these other people just said the 90% isopropyl alcohol. I'm just putting three ounces in. They said to use about almost 16 ounces per five gallons. That's what they said to use. The meter works because it registered one before. It's registering zero. I don't know. Well, that's telling you it's not putting out carbon monoxide. That's the real danger. The other danger is using up the oxygen and putting out CO2. But that's they all do that. I mean, unless you have it coming in where this thing is being fed the oxygen from the outside. So, it's about as safe as you can get for this type of stuff. So, that's uh, it's supposed to be a good quality CO meter. Where the hell it makes it? I don't know. That's who makes it. Good enough. Zero, right? And I got it right by the damn thing. Right above it. And 35 is the minimum alarm. So, I mean, I don't smell anything. And I'm thinking the only thing that's dangerous that you can't smell is carbon monoxide. But the meter's saying zero. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's zero. It's still zero. I don't know why it said one before because you know maybe I work on car parts in here or something and maybe it's between a half and one because it was going between zero and one. Well, is that I don't know, it's the best I can freaking do. I mean I'm not gonna be able to go around here testing thousands of heaters and stuff like that. I could test my heater, I could tell you my experience. Uh, I'm trying to be very responsible about this. And you know, if the damn thing puts out soot or something, you know it's not running right. But obviously, this one's not, right? I don't know, what am I, lucky? I don't know. But it's, I've told you, I, I didn't think of this myself. I was told about this. And I was told by some people that, you know, said, yeah, we've been doing it this way for years. So, I don't know. <laughs> Can I tell you, man? I mean, yeah. I mean, if kerosene was two bucks a gallon, it used to be cheaper than gasoline back in the '60s. Kerosene was like, you know, it didn't require as much refinery process, right? I don't know what to tell you, man. I mean, I'm having great experience here. So zero CO on my heater. Does that mean your heater is going to be zero CO? I don't know. But, you know, it's almost like if the damn thing's running like this and you see, oh, nice steady flame, um, I don't smell anything. With kerosene, I could smell a slight hint sometimes. Diesel, I don't smell nothing. It puts out better heat. It lasts longer. Um, and, you know, you got to crack a window open anyway because it does use up oxygen. It does put out carbon dioxide because it's not taking the oxygen from a you know a vent or something that's through the wall it's taking it from inside the room so that's why you always crack open a window 
don't know, this looks pretty freaking safe to me. I mean, from my situation, it looks great. You know, and uh, the diesel is cheap. It's like $2 and something. And kerosene is bit double that easy. And it stinks and it doesn't last as long. So, I don't know. Trying to be accurate is all hell, but uh, I can only tell you, like, I'm not some big scientific study here. Or what I said, I can't see. I, I got thousands of heaters I'm going to check, and we're going to go do this thing. It cost me a million dollars and stuff. No, I mean, I'm telling you what I did. And uh, I went out and bought this meter to really try to show you. Because I didn't really give a shit about this meter, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I figure, you know, hey, maybe this will help me someday if I'm out there in the winter and I'm in my car and I i got to leave the heat on and see if there's carbon monoxide coming inside or something, you know, I don't know. Maybe this might be a lifesaver someday, who knows. But Or you're in a tent and you got your heat on, but this thing looks like, and I mean, you know, you got to figure the CO has got to be better f further away, because like here I am, right where this thing is spitting out the heat the most, right? Zero. Is that good enough? I mean best I can do sorry okay <laughs> best I can do